The fact that 71% of the earth is made up of water is fantastic because it is essential for our survival. However, some regions fall under the category of hyperarid deserts because they typically receive less than 0.09 inches 2 millimeters of precipitation annually. Even worse, some regions endure for years without receiving any rain, rendering them essentially uninhabitable. Amazingly, deserts cover 35% of the planet's surface, making them larger than you may imagine. Let's look at 10 of the driest locations on the planet. Number 10. Namibian Pelican Point It's likely that you have heard of the scenic Pelican Point in Namibia if you enjoy sand surfing. Pelican Point, one of the driest places on Earth, is continually overrun by tourists who want to surf on its long sand dunes that reach the Atlantic Ocean. The changeable climate of this location is another reason why tourists adore it. Pelican Point's climate is also not as extreme as some of the locations on this list. Because of the region's average annual rainfall of around an inch 23 mm residents have mostly clear sky. Every year, there are 2,646 hours of sunlight in this region. This location has an arid cool climate because it has a Koppen Geiger climate classification of BWK cold desert climate. If you prefer sand surfing, you've probably heard of the picturesque Pelican Point in Namibia. Tourists who wish to surf on the long sand dunes at Pelican Point, one of the driest places on Earth, are constantly flooding the area. Another factor that draws visitors to this place is its variable climate. The weather in Pelican Point is also not as harsh as it is in some of the places on this list. The average yearly rainfall in the area is about an inch 23 mm therefore locals mostly. Number 9. Algiers, Ul Fulf is not the town for you if you are not adapted to the heat. Long summers with extraordinarily high temperatures and short winters with temperatures that are still warm compared to other regions make up its yearly climate. Ulf is classified as BWH by the Koppen climate classification, hot desert climate. The town experiences the hottest month in July, when high temperatures can reach a maximum of 110.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 43.1 degrees Celsius, and a minimum of 90.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 39.6 degrees Celsius. The fact that this town only averages 0.05 inches 12.9 millimeters of rain each year is one of the reasons it made the list. Because of this, it is incredibly difficult to find any type of protection from the intense sun. The topography is largely covered in shimmering sand dunes because of the area's limited rainfall. Visitors come here from all over the world to take in the splendor. Number 8. Antarctica's dry valleys Contrary to popular assumption, the South Pole is among the driest regions on Earth. The dry valleys are a group of valleys with extremely low humidity and little to no ice cover, hence its common name. The Katabatic winds are responsible for the dry valleys. In layman's words, Katabatic winds cause dense, humid air to drop at a rate of up to 199 mph 320 km per hour propelled by gravity. By the time they reach the bottom, the wind is hot enough to cause the evaporation of water or ice since it gets hotter as they descend. The dry valleys are the largest ice-free region in Antarctica. For reference, they cover an area of 4,800 square kilometers 2,900 square miles. Naturally, the transantarctic mountains surround the valleys. These mountains are so tall that they prevent rain clouds from developing and ice flowing toward the sea from reaching the rivers. The dry valleys have a low population in part due to the region's extreme aridity. Access to fresh water will be your breaking point even if you can withstand the environment because certain areas of the region go for years without receiving any rain. Number 7. Egypt's Aswan Discovering Aswan, Egypt, a travel blog in the sunny southern city Aswan, in South Egypt, is unquestionably one of the driest places on Earth, with an average annual rainfall of just 0.033 inches 0.861 millimeters. As in the rest of Egypt, Aswan experiences the hottest summer days. The overall climate is hot and desert-like. Despite the weather, Aswan is home to one of Egypt's biggest markets and a well-liked tourist destination. The city's proximity to the Tropic of Cancer contributes to the high temperatures. The summertime average high temperature is 107.0 degrees Fahrenheit, 41.9 degrees Celsius, and the summertime average low is 77.0 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius. However, during the winter, it can get as low as 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius. 
As a result, the winters are pleasant while the summers are oppressively hot and uncomfortable. Because of this, the area sees the greatest visitors during the winter. Aswan is not just among the driest cities, but it's also among the least humid. With a maximum humidity of 42% and a minimum humidity of 16%, the humidity is typically about 26%. The sky in Aswan is generally clear year-round thanks to the humidity levels, with Number 6. Chile's Atacama Desert One of the most stunning locations on Earth is the Atacama Desert in Chile, which features breathtaking beaches and glistening sand. It's also among the driest spots on Earth, but the majority of tourists won't tell you that. For reference, it should be noted that Calama, one of its municipalities, experienced a 400-year drought from 1570 to 1971. The towns that do get rain, however, only get an average of 0.04 inches 10 millimeters of rain every year. The Atacama, which is situated in South America and stretches more than 600 miles, is best defined as a coastal desert 965 kilometers. In some locations, thick fogs frequently occur, which helps to keep the temperature manageable. However, it has one of the highest annual average humidity levels on this list at 75%. The Atacama is surrounded by huge mountains, yet none of them have glaciers to illustrate how dry the region is. The Humboldt Current's chilly water, which prevents clouds from forming, is to blame for the dearth of precipitation. In either case, Atacama is a popular travel destination provided you don't mind long swaths of desert that are completely barren. A portion of the desert also receives record-breaking amounts of rainfall every few years, resulting in lovely mauve pink vegetation covering the desert. The greenery lasts only as long as the actual rainfall, and within less than two weeks, things are back to normal. Number 5. Iceland Peru, the department of Ica, one of Peru's regions, has Ica as its capital city. Ica is situated in southern Peru. It may be in part due to the city's proximity to the Atacama Desert that it is extremely dry and rarely receives rain. The Ica region wasn't dry until about 30 million years ago, which is surprising. Whale fossils from that era have been discovered more than 2,000 feet 600 meters above the present-day sea level. A now extinct 5-foot-long species of penguin once lived in Ica. The area is currently too dry to sustain the majority of plants and flora. However, tourism is the residents' primary source of income. Numerous individuals go there during the colder months to walk up the mountains, surf on the sand dunes, and fun fact, plan your vacation to Ica if you want to see actual mummies. This is mostly explained by the fact that a well-preserved human body finds it challenging to break down in environments with low humidity. Ica typically receives 0.12 inches 2.9 millimeters of precipitation per year and up to 34.9% humidity. Number 4. Sudan's Wadi Hafa a little town in Sudan's northern state called Wadi Hafa has a sparse population. It is among the world's hottest and driest cities because to the roughly 4,300 hours of blazing sunshine it receives annually. It is not surprising that the city is so dry given that Wadi Hafa is a part of the Namibian desert, which is then a part of the Sahara desert. Waldi Hafa has one of the highest possible evaporation rates due to the relentlessly hot sun, which can reach 234 inches per year 5,929 millimeters. During the coldest months, this region's yearly average temperature is 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit 27 degrees Celsius. Because it can become as hot as 117 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the summer, it gets worse. Most of the cities on this list share the trait of having little to no flora that can grow successfully and infrequent clouds. Because of this, the yearly precipitation average is less than 0.1 inches 2.45 mm number 3. Arabian Rub al-Khali The Arabian Peninsula is home to the Rub al-Khali, sometimes referred to as the empty quarter. Given that it is about 620 miles 1,000 kilometers long and 321 miles 500 kilometers wide, it is a large object. Sand dunes and gypsum plains dominate the majority of its topography, giving the region a gorgeous aspect that has graced the portfolios of numerous photographers. The region is home to numerous dried-up lake beds that were formerly filled with water some 4,000 years ago. This makes navigating the terrain rather hazardous unless you have experienced company. Despite this, travelers frequently swarm the region to take part in the many available tourist activities. 
Rub al Khali is eligible to be on this list because of its climate. This one specifically fits the category of hyper-arid places, according to the categories that are provided. Records show that the amount of annual precipitation is less than 1.4 inches 36 millimeters, which means that there is little chance for vegetation or water bodies to survive. One of the least humid towns in the world, the annual average humidity is around 30%. Finally, while it rarely exceeds 124 degrees Fahrenheit 51 degrees Celsius, the average temperature is 97 degrees Fahrenheit 36 degrees Celsius. Number 2. Egypt's Luxor The name of the Egyptian city of Luxor comes from the Arabic phrase for the palaces. The town is well known for its tourist destinations, which include one of the driest places on earth, the world's largest open-air museums, and temples rich in cultural history. In June, July, and August, the temperature can easily rise above 104 degrees Fahrenheit 40 degrees Celsius. The lows, however, can drop as low as 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit 22 degrees Celsius. According to the statistics previously given, unless you are able to tolerate the harsh weather, it is not advised to visit the area during the summer. According to data, the climate is often dry all year round, with some regions not having seen rain in over a year. Given that the yearly average is 39.9%, with wintertime highs of 57% and summertime lows of 27%, the humidity is on the low side. This makes the region worthwhile to visit at any time of year. Luxor receives up to 4,000 hours of sunshine annually, thus it is bright there all year. To put this number in perspective, consider how close it is to the world's highest possible theoretical sunshine duration. Number 1. Chile's Arica one of the driest cities on the continent is undoubtedly Arica. Surprisingly, despite having an average rainfall of around 0.03 inches, it also serves as a port 0.761 mm. High cloud cover and a lack of precipitation cause the area to have high humidity levels that resemble those found in equatorial regions. But the amount of sunshine is still as intense as in the northern Sahara Desert. On the western coast of South America, Arica is situated at the African Bend. Although there is a lot of moisture in the air because of the high humidity, it doesn't reach the ground. The rationale is that the hot air gets distributed rather than wet because of the frequent winds in the nearby Atacama Desert.